Hi everyone, this is Sultan with WP Funnels and in this video, I'm going to explain all the types of funnel steps that you can add uh, to create your sales funnel. All right, so let's get started. Now, in my last few videos, I showed you how you can use the drag and drop canvas, how you can add steps and even create a basic funnel. Uh, now, the next thing to do is to learn how to design uh, your funnel steps and make it functional, right? But before I do that, I thought I would create a video just to explain the type of steps that you have available uh, when creating a funnel, right? So this will give you a good idea on understanding, okay, when I plan the funnel, what steps should I add? What steps should I add after what? What things, uh, what offers should I make? or things like that, all right? So this is just to help you out in uh, planning your funnel properly. So uh, before I start, uh, let me just create a funnel. Okay, I'll just create a new funnel and I'm just gonna create one from scratch, okay? So just let me name it funnel steps and create it. And as you see, it's gonna take me to the blank canvas, all right? Now let me just go ahead and add a step so before i add the step i'll be explaining each and every step all right now this is the landing step all right uh, at first you have the option to add the landing what is the landing step the landing step is basically the page of your funnel where you make uh the offer it could be a sales page it could be uh, something to convince the buyer to understand uh the product it could be just a landing page where you take them to purchase the product all right so usually what we do is we create a page which is highlighted towards the product and if anyone goes through the page and gets interested he can buy now or he can click on the call to call to action button that's going to take the buyer to the next step which is usually the checkout step so before i go into the checkout let me just uh, go ahead and uh, add this landing let me just click on import i'm just going to import one landing page template all right so there you go the landing step is added so any funnel should have a landing step and other than the landing it should have two other steps which all funnels should have that is the checkout step and a thank you step all right so once you have the landing what you can do is you can edit this and set up the landing page with content and uh, a call to action button uh, now let me go ahead and add a checkout step let me click on add step and there's the checkout step so the checkout step is normally the uh, page where a person is going to make the payment all right so here basically the main product you assign to your funnel that's going to be added to the checkout and a person can pay uh, through credit cards or maybe PayPal or the payment gateway of your preference, all right? And here you can also get information from the people uh, just like a normal checkout form, all right? So we just uh, create uh, a checkout step by importing a template. And there you go. Checkout step is added, all right? Uh, so the checkout page usually consists of a checkout form, which is our own widget. All right. And in that form, you have the option to customize it either with color or text and uh, an advanced feature of uh, editing the checkout fields. All right. So the checkout page, as I told you, is normally the page where a person comes to pay for the product they're buying. All right. Next, uh, there's the thank you step. The thank you step is uh, supposedly the very last step of a funnel. Uh, so let me just import the thank you step. So what happens is after a person has purchased the main product and maybe purchased a few more offer products, uh, then finally he goes to the thank you step to see the details of the orders he just made. Okay, so I have just added the thank you step. All right, uh, next the step is the upsell step. So let me just import a template. Now the upsell step is basically the main concept of a sales funnel. All right. So why do people use sales funnel? People use sales funnel to increase their revenue. And how do they do that? They do that by making post-purchase offers. So an upsell step is a step that comes right after the checkout, but before the thank you. When a person has made a payment in the checkout page, normally in an e-commerce store, that's the end of the road, okay? He can uh, want to leave the site or he can go ahead and look for other products if he wants to. But in a sales funnel, what happens is when a person purchases something in the checkout page, he might get an upsell offer right after the checkout page, all right? What's the upsell offer? It's probably a product with a higher value or a product complements the main product but has more value. Uh, you're giving the buyer an offer to purchase something else that's of higher value to you, all right? So you can earn more money. And the specialty is, you know, the upsell 
uh, this has to be valued more than the actual product in your main offer, right? It's not mandatory. You can obviously offer something of lower value, but that's the best practice, all right? And once you do that, uh, it's also encouraged to give a discount in that because now obviously why would someone purchase something on upsell if there is nothing special in it for him all right so the upsell is mainly there so that you can make an offer of a higher value and a person might just take it that will give you a higher revenue okay so that's the upsell step and this is usually after the checkout step so it's a post-purchase offer and finally you can add a downsell step i'm just going to import a template for this as well now what's a downsell step a downsell is similar to an upsell, basically you're making a post-purchase offer, but a downsell is generally the offer which you make as a lower uh, value product, okay? Uh, and normally people use downsell after an upsell offer. So uh, let's say a buyer rejects an upsell offer, or one of the main reasons people reject it is due to the price as the upsell offer is generally a higher priced product. So if a person doesn't want to pay that much, you can give him offer of a lower value with obviously some discounts as a downsell offer, all right? So in that case, what happens is if the person uh, rejected the upsell offer mainly due to the price, then he will probably end up getting the downsell offer as that that will be of lower cost to him. But definitely, even if this is of lower value than the upsell, this is going to get you some extra revenue. That's because you're not waiting for the customer to find this product in your store and purchase it. Uh, he just bought something and you made him purchase something extra. So whether you sell an upsell offer or a downsell offer, both of them are beneficial for your shop, okay? So these are the five steps you can add in funnel. But other than that, you also have an option to make an order bump offer at the checkout step. So once you select the checkout step and go to the settings, uh, here you'll get the option to add an order bump, okay? So what's an order bump? It's basically a small offer like this on the checkout page. Uh, which a person can avail with just a single click okay so let's say a person is on the checkout page is about to pay you're giving him an extra offer on the page that's the order bump offer what he can do is rather than going and searching for this product in your page or maybe he never thought of this product but it's a related product to what he's buying you can obviously give him as the order bump offer uh, with this product so normally the best practice of using an order bump is that you offer him something that costs less but is easily complementing or uh, is something related to the product a person is already purchasing. In that way, he won't have to spend too much to get this and uh, he doesn't have to look through your store to uh, get attracted to this. Since you're giving him an offer in the checkout page and he's in the mood of payment, he might just end up adding that to the cart as well, all right? So in the order room offer, it's not mandatory to add a discount, but a discount definitely adds a push to taking a decision to purchase, all right? So these are all the steps you can add and you can connect all of them in order just easily in this uh, drag and drop uh, canvas, all right? But mind it, after you add the steps, uh, First thing you need to do is to assign the main offer product, which you have to do in the checkout step. You can see I haven't added it. It's still saying no product added, right? And when you add upsell or downsell products, you also have to assign them the offer products, same as you did on the checkout. So this product is basically gonna be the ones you'll be offering in the upsell and downsell steps. Now, I'll obviously have separate videos explaining how you can prepare your upsell offers or downsell offers for a sales funnel. Uh, so that you can plan your funnels more comfortably and you know the advantages of upsell and downsell. I tried to explain a bit in this video, but as this video is mainly focused on explaining all the available steps, uh, which I think I've already explained, but if you have more questions, you can obviously ask in the comments, right? So I'll end this video right now, uh, and in the next few videos, I'll focus on explaining how you can design your funnel steps and uh, how you can make the funnel uh, functional using our widgets or Gutenberg blocks, all right? So thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in my next video. Take care.